did you come up with seven hundred fifty thousand dollars before October? John Hannah, you don't know what people have or who they I know. Didn't. People have money. You you don't know. He's a politician. You have no idea who the he's judge connected with. Said that he was living, but <laughs> but above his means, he didn't have it. How you gonna come up with seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? John Hanna, maybe somebody can give it to him. Please you don't be know. my friend. Can you be my friend too? <laughs> you don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight's celebration, Pastor John F. Hanna and Angela Martin. What up? Wow. Come on here, Chicago. Amazing. Come on, everybody stand. Get up. <laughs> this is a safe space that we make sure that we love on each other. Amen. So you need to know who you're worshiping with. Yes, Lord. So do me a favor. I need you to turn Because you don't know what somebody's been going through all day. And they made it to the house of God. And the last thing that you need to do is deal with somebody with a rotten attitude. So do me a favor. Can you, you got to hug three people around you. Do your best not to hug people that you know. And introduce yourself. Hello, my name is. And I'm a praiser. Hello, my name is, and I'm a worshiper. Come on, you got to hug at least three people around you. <laughs> Go to someone you don't know and introduce yourself. To my online family, we're so glad that you're a part of this. To our virtual family, we're, we're excited that you're a part of this. There you go. Some of y'all not used to being loved on. Angela Martin. Yes, Pastor Hannah. How you feeling? I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Can y'all do me a favor? Can you celebrate the Angela Martin? Oh. <laughs> you can be seated. Thank you, guys. You can be seated. I'm so How happy to, sh to share this stage with you tonight. This is amazing. amazing. It's amazing. 20 years. Can you believe it? 20 years. I am in awe, and that's what tonight is all about. Yes. It's about celebrating what God has done in our city. Mm -hmm. And I know the media try to give us a bad rap, but anybody love this city? Yes. I love my city. And I wanted us to come out tonight to celebrate Chicago mm -hmm. and what God is doing in our city. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, we're going to honor different people tonight. And you'll get, um, just get a, see who we're going to honor. Some of them are here still in the land of the living. Some of them have gone on. But we wanted to honor the pillars of our city. I'm a firm believer. You need to know where you come from. Amen. In order to know where you're going. Where you're going. And no one just arrived. There's someone that went before you that laid a foundation. So I want to honor certain people on tonight and just enjoy one another on tonight. We're at a musical. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this is the first we're, musical we're, in this church. <laughs> we're at a musical, Pastor Anna. And I sang in the choir. How many of y'all remember the choir that we used to pay dues? Can somebody tell me where that money at? <laughs> Who turned that money in and what did it go to? Amen. How many of y'all come from the choir that we had uniforms? And if you didn't wear the uniform, you got... <laughs> Where's that money? Where's the fine money? Well, Come from the choir that used to march in. Got to back up now. We did all of that. Yes, we did. Yes, Had we the did. ushers with the gloves. Some of y'all ain't seen that because y'all still got the ushers with them gloves at your church with that badge. Well, it's a packed house tonight, so that means there is room for this music. There's so much room. Yes, so yes. Much room. All right, so we're excited. The video? Huh? We have an intro video. Can everybody pay attention to the screen? So tonight is all about celebrating Chicago and the legacy and some of the pillars of this city. There are some people that have gone on to be with the Lord, but they were major in this city. 
people like Clay Evans of the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. There are some that are in the land of the living, but they passed the torch like Reverend James T. Meeks and the Salem Baptist Church, or Salem, Chicago, should I say. We had pillars like Reverend Milton Brunson. We've had pillars like, he's still here, uh, Apostle H. Daniel Wilson of Valley Kingdom Ministry. This city is amazing. Honoring people like the late Apostle R.D. Hinton, Bishop Arthur Embrasia, someone who has their thumbprint on my life, is the late Bishop Elder Willie James Campbell and the St. James Church of God in Christ. When I didn't know where I was going, I ended up at New Life under Pastor Wilfredo de Jesus, also known as Choco. And tonight you'll hear free worship. Chicago is full of legacy. And tonight is all about celebrating Chicago. That's all it's about. I am so glad that God birthed me in this city. And I'm so glad that he called me to this city that I get to be a piece of the puzzle. So hey, tonight, let's just celebrate Chicago. Enjoy. Can we give God a hand praise for legacy and history in this city? So tonight, that was New Life's combined choir. I don't know why I'm saying combined. That's our only choir. It just sounds so big when you say combined choirs. And we love our choir. Do we love our choir in New Life? Come on. Come on, give it up for our choir. Our choir sings. You're amazing. They have to get here every Sunday That's at 6 a.m. That's Because they do the 7.30 service yes, every Sunday. Yes, we appreciate them. And they get here at 6 a.m. to go through sound check and everything. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So I want our choir to know that we celebrate we you and you. we appreciate you. God bless you all. Thank you for your service. All right. Thank we're about to so stay much. on the south side. Yes, we are. Who are we going to? We're going to Salem Baptist Church. That Reverend Meeks. We're going to Salem. That Reverend Meeks <laughs> is a G. Yes, he is. Oh, this is yes, a real choir. They wear black and white. Uh-oh. That's how you go. know you got a real choir when you wear black and white. Here we go. Oh, see, all this new. All these Malcolm up front is microphones is new. Malcolm, you know, Malcolm doesn't play. You know Welcome, play, right? Salem. Welcome, Malcolm. We're so Malcolm. glad to have you all here <laughs> at you. New Life. Chicago, can you do me a favor? Can we celebrate Salem as a minister at this time? Salem Baptist Church! Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. We are so glad to be here with Pastor John Hanna and New Life. But long before it was a new life, there was a spring break youth conference. And that's where Salem got to meet Pastor John Hanna. And we love you and appreciate you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, tell them you ought to open your mouth and give God a praise. Anybody got a praise? If you got a praise, come on, open your mouth and say something. Clap your hands with me. Come on, everybody. Open your mouth and give him glory, come on. We come to bless the Lord tonight and give him glory. Here we go. Come, come on, saints. Come on, saints, give it up. Give up the highest praise. Come on, Alto, come. Come on, saints, give it up. Give up the highest praise. Come on, tenors, eh? Come on, saints, give it up. Give up the highest praise. Everybody shout it out. Come on, saints, give it up. Give up the highest. If I could say a word. Just wave my, wave my hand. If I couldn't wave my hand, I, I just hand. throw my feet. Every time, praise the Lord with me. When I think about, I, think about what I got to give it up. I, give it up. I need 500 of y'all to clap them hands real big. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait a minute. Everybody say, come on, say. Come on, say, give it up. Give up. Give up the highest What praise. about over here? Come, come on, say, give it up. Give up the highest praise. Come on, say, give it up. Give up the highest praise. 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 Come on, say, give it up. Give up, give up the highest praise. If I couldn't say a word, I just wave my hand. Anybody waving your hand? If I, I just throw my hand. Lord with me. Lord with me. When, I 
think about. If you got a brain, open your mouth, say. Open your mouth, say. Anybody got a brain? Open your mouth, say. Say something. Say something. Open your mouth, say. If he woke you up this morning, you ought to give him all the glory. You ought to give him all the Say neighbor. I can see you. You ain't said nothing to your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Tell them no matter what you're going through. Tell them hold on. Tell them hold on. If you're going to hold on, clap your hands like this. Come on.
on, y'all do me a favor. Let's celebrate Sailor. You gotta hold on. You got to hold on. Get a real good grip. Get a real good grip. Yes, Lord. Don't slide off now. <laughs> You're going to hell if you do. You got to hold on. I don't want to go to hell. Cause I, do you want to go to hell? Hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. <laughs> hell is a hot place. Ain't no water there. Ain't no water none, there. None, none. Y'all don't know nothing about them songs. <laughs> them storefront songs right there. Congregational songs. Congregational Santa. songs. There you go. Hell is a hot place. Ain't, Ain't no, no water, water there. there. Don't go there thirsty. You better drink while you can. Look at him. I want to celebrate um, Pastor Meeks, and I want to celebrate him. Come on, let's celebrate him. I celebrate a person that refused to die in the pulpit. You work too hard to let your dream die because God called you home. And I honor him because he went in the spirit and found a young man who's more than qualified. Amen, amen. And he belongs to Chicago, and the world knows him. Can everybody do me a favor? Can you stand and let's celebrate Pastor Charlie Dates right now? Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Boy, if you don't get up, get up. I love you, man. This means a lot. This means a lot. Um, we celebrate you. We honor you. And we wanted to um, present a plaque to Salem and Pastor Meeks, but we wanted you to come up because we want the city to see who got next. Y'all better say something to me. Y'all better say something to me. And we are honored that he chose you to represent just not Salem, but to represent our city. It means a lot to us. So I want to just give you the mic and just let you have some words. And Anna's going to just show you the, um, the plaque that we want to give to Pastor Meeks, and you can pass it on. But we do honor you. Come on, say I something. I have nothing to say. Uh, Pastor Meeks wanted to be here tonight. Uh, he and Mrs. Meeks are celebrating 50 years together right now. Got to hold on. Got to hold on. Handedness of your heart, but the reality is we think that of you and then some. And so thank you tonight for having us. I receive it on Pastor Meeks's behalf and you fly as all get out, Sister Angela, all the time. was 19 years old and I stayed with him um, until the Lord told me to leave at the age of 36. Wow. I served him. I was never on his payroll and never expected anything. Some people run after the money. I ran after the oil. Amen. And you got it. <laughs> did he get it? I said, did he get the oil? So I even honor those that got together to make sure that St. James was represented. Amen. Um, and they literally came together. And some of them, we started out on the west side of Chicago. 4147 West Roosevelt Road. 
And if you watch the documentary that they did from the west side to the world, I go back to those grounds just to honor him and the work that he did. The only reason we moved to the south side is because of Ruth family. Mm-hmm, I remember. God had to run us off the west side. We would have <laughs> never left. I remember. But it was amazing. But then we ended up at 10920 South Princeton. Mm-hmm. And then we just started running until we found a permanent location. But I want you all to do me a favor. Can we celebrate this next choir? It is the St. James Reunion Choir. Let's go. Come on, choir.
time. She like, I got done ran out of words. I'm gonna end this song. You done made me hot. Can y'all do me a favor? This is so much history on this stage. Can y'all do me a favor? Can we celebrate legacy right now? I love you all for real. And thank you all for making it happen. It means a lot. Wow. Amen. You can go. We have to keep going. So wow, right? Yeah. That's crazy. I love y'all. Sarah Godfrey. <laughs> it's so much history mm-hmm. on this stage. Um, and I am honored to honor him. Even though he is no longer here, I refuse to honor Chicago and not honor him. So there are two things that we want to pass on. Um, we want to have, we have a plaque for Pastor Chris Harris mm-hmm. because he joined the two churches together. Amen. And we celebrate him. Amen. But we also, I had to get, get a plaque for him and I wanted his widow to be here tonight, mm-hmm. Dr. Lori, to come and receive this. Nice to honor him. They were married for 20 years. And she married him and buried him. And we wanted to let you know that we honor him on tonight. And we celebrate him. And I could not do this night without honoring him. So I want to thank you for being here to receive this plaque for him. Praise the Lord. I want to thank New Life for this honorable celebration as you, as we embark upon 20 years but I really want to salute Pastor John Hanna. Wow. Wow. St. James is amazing, but it would not have been as amazing without him. <laughs> I remember during the transition, my husband was up preaching out of himself and he stopped in the middle of the message and he looked at John and he said you will go further than me he knew something was special about you so thank you pastor because you have gone further you are moving forward and there's so much more for you. God you better put this mic down for you, Teddy's church. Up. I love you. Girl. Wow, wow. I'll never forget that day. We actually What's were having church? service at Sweet Holy Spirit, and he was preaching and turned and looked and gave me a word, and I just hit the floor in worship. But again, I want to say to everyone that's listening, you want to be great, but the question is, who do you serve? Scripture says, he that is great among you must become servant of all. Before you get a clergy collar, you must carry an apron. Amen. (laughs) Amen. I don't want to talk about that no more, but I believe that with all my heart. So next is my next stop. So at the age of 36, I hear the word of the Lord. And I was reading the scripture in Genesis 12. And he said, get thee out of thy father's house. And from among thine kindred and go to a land that I will show you. I was like, where am I going? And he sent me from the south side of Chicago all the way north to Humble Park. And to a Puerto Rican church. I want y'all to look at my face when I say that. I was like, God, (laughs) are you serious? He's like, I need to hide you for a season. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Pastor Choco, he was the one that looked at me. And let this be revelation for some of y'all that are carrying something great. You have to make sure that he send you to someone who can nurture what's in you and not abort Amen. what is in you. Amen. And he looked at me and said, I see what's on you. I see what's in you. It doesn't scare me. Neither does it intimidate me. He says, if you do what's right, I'll plan it. And it took me four years and he planted me. And when he planted me, he paid our first three months rent. 
He bought our sound system, and he allowed me to use the 501c3. That is what he gave me to start this church. And I am honored to honor him. He is no longer living in this city, but his ministry that he's a part of is still here. And his daughter and his son-in-law and families are still moving forward. So tonight, allow me to introduce you to what's known as free worship. Now, they're going to speak. They're going to sing a little Spanish. <laughs> and I need y'all to stand up like you speak Spanish, too. You hear me? I'm going to see if you got the Holy Ghost. You should have the gift of interpretation. <laughs> if you don't know what they're saying, you just go... Sit there and make, this. but this is where worship was real for me, and I honor them. Yes. And these are the where I went. I didn't know any of these songs. I'm used to singing traveling shoes, Lord, got on. And, and they go, he opened the eyes of my heart. <laughs> this is too many words. <laughs> but they would put the words on the screen mm -hmm. so that you could hear actually know what you're saying mm -hmm. and that is when I began to literally get into lyrics mm -hmm. and not so much into the beat mm -hmm. and I began to study the lyrics and I want to thank God for free worship being here come on let's go up and worship you got to sing some in Spanish too I got a Spanish church too over here come on I got a Spanish church let it go they have church every third I ain't playing with y'all for real I just want to say before we start, this is a complete honor for us to be here, to be invited to be here for your 20-year celebration. You have to understand, when Pastor Hannah came to our church, our small, crazy Puerto Rican church, we were 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. So we have been able to witness the goodness of God. So here's something that I want to tell you, Pastor Hannah. Sometimes as you are following the calling on your life and you are listening to the voice of the Lord, you are hoping that in return, you will benefit and that your family will benefit. But sometimes, and that is very true, sometimes I think we forget that faithfulness has a ripple effect. And so yes, you will benefit and yes, your family will benefit from your faithfulness. Yes, your friends will benefit from your faithfulness. But we also benefited from your faithfulness. Through your life, through your testimony, and through everything that has happened here at Southeast, our faith has been made strong because of your life. We are a byproduct of your faithfulness. So we just want to say thank you, Pastor Hannah. And we want to start with a song that has a special meaning to you. When the music fades and all is stripped away and I simply count. Longing just to bring something that's a word. That will bless your heart. I will bring. I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself is not what you have required. Cause you search much deeper. You search much deeper within. Through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. If you know that, can you lift your hands and sing it out and say, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about, it's all about you. Yeah. It's all about you tonight. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Because it's all about
step out, Alex. We can close the curtain. In under the bosa. Come on. Some of y'all standing there worried about what they gonna think about you. But they never paid a bill. They never healed your body. They never delivered you. So why would you give them any attention when he want all the glory? And I'm a sick. You get all the glory. You get all the praise. You get all the recognition. Come on, you better tell them you get all the glory. You get all the praise. You get all the recognition. It's your Lord. Everything I have. You can be seated. You've made it to another season. I know it feels like winter, but you're really in spring. And you hold him all the glory. You could have died in the winter months. You could have died in your sleep. But here you are with all the activities of your limbs. I'm going to give you one more chance to give God the best praise you got left in you. I can't measure it, but he knows how good he's been to you. On the count of three, release the best praise you have. One, two, three, go. This is for 20 years. Yeah, my tongue the all right. I want to give you something to give to your father for me. <laughs> that was a safe space for me. That was a safe space for me. Wow, right? And I remember her. She was like eight and nine years old when I went there. And her mother was leading worship. And her mother, Elizabeth, would get up and lead worship. And Alex would just sit there. But because she was sitting under the oil. I want to encourage some of y'all to keep your kids in church. Because the oil will get on them. Because of the environment that you put them in. So I wanted to give you something to give to your father. And you know me, everywhere I go, I make it known that your father believed in me. And I wanted to um, give him this plaque to let him know that we celebrate him and that we appreciate him. I'll let you talk. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Oh, no. This is so nice. I said, how is it that you guys are celebrating 20 years and you're gifting and honoring other people? It's a beautiful thing. And I really feel like God speaks in the language of honor. And that is something that you speak in the language of as well. And I'm just so appreciative. I remember when you first came to the church, I was like, is that Pastor Hannah from 1390? What is he doing here? That's crazy. And I just, I just want to say thank you for always believing in us. Um, when we were kids, Amen. when we didn't believe in ourselves, you saw something in us. I remember one time you uh, had like a television thing in Michigan and you're like, drive out, you're doing worship while I'm on TV. And I'm like, what? Who are we? But it's people in your life, right, that are not afraid to share things, that are not afraid to bring you along, that are not afraid to share a platform or to pour into you. 
And that is what Pastor Hannah has been for us and what Southeast has been for us. So I am and we are forever grateful and forever indebted to the way and to the person that you are. Thank you so much. I love you, girl. It's an emotional night. You can go this way. Who next, Angela? This is too much. You tricked y'all, didn't you? Yes. Y'all thought they were going to get up here and y'all thought Woo. they wouldn't go have nothing on no, no. The anointing of God. Shut Woo. your black behind. Down! <laughs> it was amazing. God is in this place. Some of y'all start, ooh. God is in this place. I felt the same way when I went over there. I was like, what are these Puerto Ricans going to tell me? <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in the floor. Oh, it, it, it just kind of eases up on you. That thing. Like, like this. It just, like, I know it. And it for just... four years, <laughs> for four years, he yes. made me sit there. Yes. Hallelujah. That thing blessed me. It's amazing. I thought I was only going to be there one year. And the only thing I learned was, como esta usted bien, gracias y tú. That's one year. <laughs> and he said something that changed my life. If you guys have never seen the documentary, go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. On my YouTube channel, you can see from the west side to the world. That man looked at me and said, John, I'm not going to plant you until you get a shepherd's heart. Mm -hmm. He said, you can preach, but you don't have a shepherd's heart. Wow. I got mad. <laughs> I said, who do you think he talking to? That right there proved that I didn't have a shepherd's heart. And he gave me an assignment. His assignment was I had to go to a homeless men's shelter and do a seven-minute devotion and feed those men, fix a plate and feed them, and then sit down and talk to them, and then get in the van after I make sandwiches and go find hungry people and feed them. I did it for a full year. So people think you just popped up. I didn't, I'm not a pop-up. <laughs> you paid your I dues. I served up. You paid your dues. Yes, Lord. Tell somebody you gotta serve in you order to go serve up. Serve up. You gotta serve All up. All right. Amen. Okay, where are we going next? Fellowship missionary. What a fellowship. Y'all better what get ready. <laughs> this thing right here. <laughs> Fellowship. Let me tell you something. That Don Clay Evans. I brought him to the church and set him down and interviewed him mm -hmm. for like an hour and a half because mm -hmm. I wanted my young church to know who this man was. Mm -hmm. And he poured and he poured. Yes. And then he passed the torch on to Charles Jenkins, mm -hmm. who carried it. You got to learn from the ship. Yes. You need to learn how not to be a Titanic. Now, that was a revelation. He really loved you, too. Let me tell you something. I, I went to visit um, Pastor Evans. Like, I went to visit him, like, in August, and he passed, I think, like, in October. Right. So I went to visit, visit him at his home, and I was like, oh, Dr. Evans, I just want to come and see you. He said, how are you? And I was like, fine. Then he said, how's John doing? Ain't that a mess? And I then said, he, he made good. them call me one day. <laughs> John. <laughs> He said, how's John doing? Yes. That is crazy mm -hmm. to me. And then it went from the right Reverend Charles Jenkins. Mm -hmm. They had to go down <laughs> south to get this thug here. They got the right one. Ah, they got the right one. Love Oh, my gosh, this he's amazing. Man. He's amazing. I tell him all the time, I'm so glad God sent you to us. Yes. And if you try to go back down south, I'll cut your tires. <laughs> We're Can y'all so do me a favor? Can everyone stand to your to your feet and let's receive from the south side of Chicago <laughs> Fellowship? Somebody ready? Somebody make some noise if you love the Lord tonight. Do I have any believers in the house tonight? Put those hands together like this. Come on. Everybody clap. Dances in the building tonight. Hey, hey. Listen, song says this. There is no need that my God cannot see. Faith is the key that provides things for me. When I can't see it, my heart is still believe. Listen up. That God's in control and he'll do it. 
for me. Help me say, I believe. I believe he'll do it for me. No need to worry. No need to worry if I just believe. It's going to work. Going to do it. 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 Do
The reason I'm praising them this way is because this coming July, it's going to be two years that God gave me a brand new kidney. Lean on your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't got time to play games tonight. Huh? But when I think of the goodness of Jesus, Where my glory carry is at? Where my glory carry is at? Some of y'all standing there looking brand new, but I dare you to come down here and say the same God. Look at your neighbor and say, same grace. Same grace. Y'all to make some noise for the greatest pastor this side of heaven. Can you scream as loud as you can for Pastor Reginald Wayne Sharp? Make some noise. Somebody make some noise for Jesus. Listen, I'm so happy to be here. I don't know what to do. On behalf of fellowship, on behalf of the late Reverend Dr. Clay Evans. On behalf of Pastor Charles Jenkins, our beloved Pastor Emeritus, we want to show you mad love today. Guess what? I had a check that I was supposed to put in your hand tonight, and I left it in the kitchen. You want me to go home and get it right now? We want to sow $1,000 into New Life Southeast from the ship. We love you. Happy anniversary. Make some noise, New Life. Clap those hands. There's this little song we sing over there on 45th Place in Princeton Avenue. Every now and then you gotta say, God is the joy. God is the joy and the strength of my life. Moves all pain. Oh, promise to keep me. Never to leave me. Fast and keep my life clean. Never, I wanna go with him. Oh, yes I do. Come too far. Never going back. God is the joy. Who's all pain? Promise to keep me. Never to leave me, never, to leave never ever. ever I'm short of His word. I got to pass and pray. Keep my life clean every day. I wanna go with Him. Oh yes, I do. Come too far. Never going back. Side. 
Chicago. Let's have a little church on a Friday. Say God is God. you to Chicago. Amen. He knew that he could trust us with you. So we want to honor you. We want to honor the late Clay Evans. And we just want to give this to you to put in your office to know that we couldn't have come this far without him coming over praying for me. I am 60. I'm out of breath. Hold on. I need some. I'm 33 and I am too. Don't worry. Okay. That made me feel good. Look at here. But nevertheless, we just want to um, say that we love the ship, and we, we're grateful for the ship and everything that the ship has done and what the ship will continue to do through you. Can we give God a hand praise for fellowship? Make some noise for the coolest pastor in Chicago, the dopest pastor in Chicago. The most speaking in tongue, dancing for no reason, huh? Pastor. Give it up for Pastor John Hanna. Come on, let him feel it. Let him feel it. Let him feel it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Your heart is as big as this city. 
and we all love you. I don't care what I accomplish as a pastor. I want you to know I'm looking up to you. Wow. And I'm grateful for your example of discipline and dedication. I thank you for the prophetic words that you give this house and the world. Amen. The world is better because New Life Southeast exists. Congratulations on 20 years. Last thing I'll say is some churches that start like this don't make it 20 months. So every time you feel like shouting over here, come on here. Pick a year and give God praise for 20 of them. And we love you. I love you, man. Picture. Picture. Oh, where the camera at? Come on, hold on. Hold on. I gotta hold get on. the right side. Those that didn't know, I grew up in the projects. Listen, we're going to bring our next out. Can you do me a favor? How many of y'all have been blessed tonight? You've been blessed? Hallelujah. Can you do me a favor? Can you celebrate our guests all the way from Norway? Norway, can you stand? Stand. Come on, let them know they're in the best city. Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Believe it or not, I've actually preached in Norway. I remember. That's what I said. <laughs> I walked up there like, what am I doing over here? <laughs> I preached, and this one walked up to me. She says, Mr. Hannah? I said, yes, ma'am. That was a great speech. <laughs> I said, well, if that's what they call the word over here, it was thank you for the speech the Lord gave me. But I'm so grateful that he has enlarged our territory. Can you do me a favor? Can you sow a seed into 20 years of ministry? And the only thing I'm asking, those of you that can, can you just sow $20? Can you sow $20 in what the Lord has done? And I believe that this is good soil, good ground. And I know some of y'all, you go to musicals, and y'all sing and shout and don't give a dime. Oh, my Lord. So we Shame. rebuke the spirit of the musical. <laughs> Come on, you can, um, if you could bring it up on the screen, our different ways to give. Um, can we get that QR code on the screen? And there's different ways that you can give. You could text the words NOCSE to 91694. But we need that QR code on the screen. <clears throat> this is a technology generation. They don't carry cash. So they do everything through their phone. I don't care if you got to open these curtains for them to get that QR code. You do what you got to do. But we need to make sure that they get a chance to sow a seed. Reverend Jamal? Okay, God bless you. <laughs> Can y'all do me a favor? Can we celebrate our executive pastor, Pastor Glenn, in the building? Yeah! When I'm on stage, she's the one running around making sure that everything get up the way that it's supposed to get up. For those of y'all that are online, I want you to prepare to give whatever city that you're in. And we have so many, we have thousands of people online. And we want you to know, can you just sow into 20 years? Can you give us a dollar for every year? If you don't have the 20, can you get the best seed that you can in your hand? If you still carry cash and you want to write a check, you can make it out to nlcse.org. Um, you put it in an envelope, and then we're going to just pass the basket. We're going to turn the lights up because everybody's not saved. <clears throat> and we want to make sure that you not be Judas in the house and steal from the purse. So we want to just, come on, so a seed. So a seed. 20 years. He's been good to us. And I pray that everyone that's so, I pray that the same oil on the house get on you. Amen. I pray the same way he blessed this house, he blessed your personal house. So you decide how you want to give. You decide how you want to give. I know some of y'all have an Android, so I'm taking my time. Because it takes longer with an Android. So I hear the song, please be patient with me. God's not through with me yet. So go ahead. There you go. You can sew right there. Come on. If you're sewing right there, can you do me a favor? Can you just wave your seed to the Lord? Can you wave it to the Lord? Wave it to the Lord. I know your arm is tired. If you have an Android, you could take it down a little bit lower because you feel like you're holding a flat screen TV. Can you just bring it? Yeah. No, wait. 
All right, you got it? Come on, we, we have this saying. There you go, there's a better. Come on, there you go, you can sew right now. To my online family, can you sew, those of you all that watch us? This is normally our Thursday night Bible study. And we are celebrating today on Sunday. We're going to be at um, the Credit Union Auditorium, which used to be the Pavilion. And there's one big service at 10 o'clock. New Life, I am warning you, there's a big surprise that's going to open this service up. You have to be on time. You got to be on time to make sure that you're part of it. All the parking has been completely paid for. You would not be charged a dime for parking. Everything is in place. The only thing that's missing is you. Because we're having it in an auditorium, it's like you go to a concert, you got to go through the metal detector. So we ask you to leave your pistols, your knives, and your switchblades at home. Okay, you got to leave those at home. And then ladies, when you come into a concert, they don't allow you to bring your big purse. So you have to um, do either a clear or something extremely small. These are the rules of the house, all right? We're passing the basket. Can you pass the basket? Can you pass the basket? If you don't mind, um, I want to honor. Let's do it now. I'm sorry. I want to honor. Let's do it now. Two people um, that have been with me in, in this whole production thing before it was known as production. Um, there's a guy by the name of Saul. Sully. <laughs> and when I left Choco and he planted me, he released Sully to come with me. And Sully has been with me every step of the way, even through the hard times in life. He's been with me. He hates this kind of stuff, but we want to give him something right now. Come up on the stage, Sully. I know you hate this. I know you hate it. But I love you, man. I appreciate you. And I'm so grateful for everything that you've done. Thank you for staying with me the whole 20. All right? All right? Clap your hands for Saul. When we had two speakers with no sound system, there was a man that ran the sound for me. He's been with me again all 20 years. And his name is Dwayne Drain. Dwayne, can you come here for a minute? He tried to quit me, but I called him and told him, you ain't going nowhere. And he been with me every step of the way. When you go to the, when you go around the corner to the tabernacle, when we bought it, we bought it from a church. It was all marble, and he built the stage that we stand on every, whenever we're at the tabernacle. And he's been with me 20 years. When he first came to me, he had black hair, and um. This is what the Lord would do. He'll turn you gray unless you diet like me. Listen, but I want to celebrate you for being with me and celebrate you for sticking with me for all 20. I know it. All right. All right. Let's get ready. Praise is what I do. It's a kind of glory ministry. <laughs> when I want to be close to when you. When I want to be close to you. This was in the south suburbs. Yes, Lord. They turned the suburbs out. And tonight we want to honor Apostle H. Daniel Wilson, his lovely wife, Valley Kingdom, Shekinah Glory, all of that is in the building. Can you do me a favor? Can we celebrate Shekinah Glory? Ray Pastor Ray, Ray Beatty Ray. is the new... Nah. Hi. Hi guys. Uh -huh. This boy was born in this church. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I need some people that are ready to step on the devil's head just for a little while. If you don't mind, stand to your feet and help us step on the devil's head. Come on.
touch your neighbor say, make this vow. Make this vow. Touch your neighbor. Stop looking at me. Touch your neighbor say, make this vow. 20 years later, make this I vow to praise you. Come on, help me do life. Through the good and the bad. Come on, say. Whether I'm what? Whether happy. Come on, Q, hit it. Say remix. Put your piano hands in the air. Come on. It's a remix. It's a re remix. Hey, Luana. Remix. Remix. I need all the bouncers in the room. Cause praise is what I do say.
And I want to say this publicly. So when I was about to start this church, um, Ray was with me. Ray was the one that encouraged me. Ray was the one that spoke life and let me know that this was possible. So New Life, can you do me a favor? Can we celebrate Pastor Ray Beatty? And to see you now transition. And if y'all pay attention, Chicago, you need to pay attention because there's a shifting going on. Um, you've had the Reverend Sharp, Charlie Dates, Ray Beatty. These are all transitions. You got to notice transitions. And I remember when the Lord told me, whatever you do, don't miss your turn. Because if you miss your turn, you're going, it's going to take you longer to get where you're supposed to be. So I'm grateful that you answered the turn. And I say to you, it's your turn. And we honor you tonight. And we wanted to give you something to give to Apostle and something for you as well. Amen. So we got something for you and we have something for the Apostle. We honor you and we celebrate you. Ah! Go on, say some. Be nice. Don't say nothing. This is a serious. Don't say nothing crazy. I'm from the West Side. I know it. Go ahead. Where the West Side is there? But I'm in the suburbs now. Suburbs! Hurry up. It's night outside. <laughs> they don't have street lights. On behalf of Valley Kingdom Ministries International, I accept this on Apostles' behalf. Um, John, John Hanna, we love you. You are, you are an amazing mentor to me. When I came to the city, I needed somebody, and you just took me on your arms. I came under the circle, and I gleaned from you every day. You taught me that I can be a senior pastor and just be myself. I don't have to change because I'm a senior pastor. So I honor your leadership, and I speak Psalm 5 and 12 over your life. The favor of the Lord surrounds you like a shield. Come on here, bro. But you never grow weary in well-doing. You reap because you don't faint. And I decree and declare the rest of your years on this earth are the best of your years. In Jesus' name. He, he ain't just silly. He got a word. Wow. Let's go. On, stop playing. There's several people I, I need to acknowledge that are here. And when I would travel with um, Pastor Campbell on the road, um, I want to acknowledge the one that he would put up to sing, to clear the room. Can you do me a favor? Can we acknowledge Jesse Campbell is in the building? That is a singing machine. And we traveled with him and I traveled with him and his dad. Then there's um, a couple here that I need to acknowledge. You saw me put up Reverend Milton Brunson, but there is a young man here who was one of the major writers of that group who is now taking it even further. So we would like to acknowledge Pastor Darius Brooks and his wife being in the building. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Are they still here? Come, Reverend. I love you guys so much. And I celebrate you for keeping his name alive. Um, that is major. Um, all right. So now we're about, we about to go down south. About to hear some quartet singing up in here. And those of y'all that don't know, it's an underground tunnel from Mississippi to Chicago. How many of y'all got family members that came from Mississippi? Raise your hand. Can you tell us what city they came from? Mine came from Clarksdale. All right. So now I'm warning you. If you've never seen Norway, um, <laughs> quartet is a small group. It's not a choir. But they're going to do a lot of... And you're going to see they're going to hit their hip. They're going to run. They're going to scream. Prepare yourselves. La Harry. Lord, where La Harry at? Can y'all do me a favor? Can we celebrate La Harry? And who? Promise. Who? Promise. And. Promise. Come on here. 
Lahari and Promise. Yeah. All right. They got a horn section. <laughs>
I need you to call Jabari up on stage with you because he's really a good quartet singer. No, we got to go to Chicago, man. <laughs> Let me just say this. We want to honor you for keeping tradition alive. I need you to hear that. We honor you for keeping tradition alive. And what you're doing is you're making 
the younger generation pay attention to what our grandparents and our parents grew up on. So please be not weary in well-doing. So tonight, we want to honor you by giving you a plaque for what you're doing for our city and you're representing us well. Y'all give Lil' Harry some love! You wanna say something to us? Say something to us, Lil. Let me know you can talk to Lil' Harry. I just wanna thank God for being who he is. I got his notes. Listen. <laughs> All right, listen. Don't leave yet. We have one more person, one more group. We're going to let you leave. And then afterwards, Chicago, because we love you, I asked them to have refreshments in the lobby area for you. Now, you ain't going to be full now. <laughs> Still order your wings from Harold's, okay? <laughs> you, I'm giving you a snack to make sure your sugar don't get too low. That's it. All right, so let me thank you coming here getting a no full course meal. It's too late to be eating anyway. <laughs> wow, Angie, what you got to say about that? It, it was amazing. I mean, I had a, it was amazing. I've never seen a quartet group with a horn section. Fun. Lord, the five blind boys of Alabama are turning over. <laughs> are they still alive? Are they still alive? Uh, some of them. <laughs> some of them? Yeah. The Mighty Claus of Joy is still here, right? Some of them. Okay, then. Yeah. Well, we know we got Lil' Harry. We got Lil' Harry, the next generation. I don't know about nobody else, yes, but we got Lil' Harry. Generation we got. Mighty who? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, this is a group that we're about to bring now that represented us around the world. Yes. And they made sure they put Chicago on their name. And we have every church sang their music. Absolutely. It's we good play their music. music. It's choir it's music. Good choir music. Ain't nothing like some good choir good music. Choir music. How many of like let me, it? We're climbing higher and higher. <laughs> choir music. Day by day, getting closer. <laughs> Shut up, Sopranos. What I'll get. There's too many young people in here. They don't know that song. There's too many young people in here. All right. We want to include some. Okay, we're done. Tonight. <laughs> so. That's what the choir director do. That means cut it off. Ain't that right, Darius? Cut it off. What's we want to include our social media tonight. So social make sure media. you take your pictures. I know you've already been taking all of your pictures. Can the hashtag is Chicago Times 20. Is can y'all right? take a picture right now? What's take, the hashtag? Take your phone out. Take a picture with who's around you. Now, if you New with somebody. New life turns 20. I'm sorry. If you with someone you're not supposed to be with, don't take no picture. It's hashtag New Life <laughs> Turns 20. Don't, right? tell you, don't tell your house up. Hashtag New Life Turns 20. I know you already have all of your pictures. Make sure you post those on social media. We want to really, really execute that hashtag. Hashtag new life turns 20. So make sure you post those tonight. All right, it's 9.09. We'll have you out before 9.30. Can y'all do me a favor? Can we celebrate Chicago's own Chicago Mass, Mass Choir. Choir? Put your hands together and receive Chicago Mass Choir. Let me open the curtain, y'all. Yeah. Let me open Percy the curtain. Percy behind that curtain. Let me ain't ready yet. <laughs> Hold on. They're not ready yet. Y'all need a minute. This choir ain't minute. ready yet. They going real old school on us, too. I want y'all to be ready. We need a minute. How many of y'all remember when we were growing up, the choir had robes? Yes, I love robes. And robes the choir nice. director always had them puffy <laughs> sleeves. Dramatic, so dramatic just sleeves. Just real dramatic. Dramatic sleeves. When I was a kid growing up at Reverend Brunson's church, everybody had to have on black pants, black patent leather shoes. He didn't play, did he? You Don't come he over here with no leather. Play. Black patent, patent leather. leather. And then with your white shirt with a black tie. Mm -hmm. And the women had to wear black polyester skirt. Long. 
Don't come in here with no silk skirt on. Long, long. Long down to the long. ankle. Because if you shout, we shouldn't see your business. <laughs> Uh-oh. And ain't no church nurse got to cover you up with no sheets because you're already covered. And you had, in the winter months, they wore it's long, so you too short, Angela. <laughs> your skirt is too short. <laughs> you need some material. <laughs> and your lips are too pink. <laughs> you can't wear nothing up in this sanctified church but lip gloss. <laughs> and your lips might bet not shine that much. <laughs> you're fast. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm That's sorry. That's what they call you. Mercy, Lord. <laughs> these pink shoes on. The blood of Jesus. We rebuke the pink panther spirit on you. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it, right? They ready? ready? All right, you all, do me a favor. Let's receive Chicago Mass Choir. Fire! Come on, ropes. I'm going to sing with y'all. Where my robe at?
Put money in my pocket. Clothes on my back. Shoes on my feet. trust you to download songs like this that every church was singing my everything and so we honor you tonight and we're so grateful for you so we have a plaque for you tonight <laughs> and your choir and just to let you all know thank you for doing what you do um, and know that we so appreciate you. And I want to say something to you that Angela Martin's mother said to me years ago. Only eternity would tell what you have done. You hear me? So never look for the earth to testify for you. Only eternity would tell the people that you've reached through the songs that he put inside of you. Can we celebrate him at this point? I'll let you say something if you want to say something. Wow. <laughs> I had no idea. This is, this is not my choir. I'm just writing directing, producing the Rhonda Williamson is the president come on here she's a G and I think doctor I, I thank God for her trusting me with her babies but I'll say this years ago I asked God I said told I asked God I said God I want to I want to do music for the kingdom yes I don't care what other people do. I want to do it for the kingdom. Yes, yes. So when you hear the song that me and my brother Gerald put together. Gerald! Gerald! What? Y'all but these, this the bad boys of gospel right here. Y'all better ask somebody. And I'd like to thank Pastor Hannah. Amen. This is such a surprise, man. <laughs> Of my heart, y'all pray for me because I have some health challenges. Because I can see, but I can't see. Amen. So y'all pray for my vision. Amen. I was gonna wear the black, dark glasses, but I didn't want y'all to think I was Ray Charles. Don't come over here like that. Clap you. Thank God for you. Brother. We love you, man, and we celebrate you, Doctor. Thank you so much. You want to say something? Come on, let us let us say something. very humble man and we've been working together for over 30 years as a Come on anointed here. team there's no I in team and I thank God for Percy and I thank God for Gerald but I just want to say to you Pastor Hannah so many young ministries need to watch you you don't know it all but you surround yourself I watch you with people that don't know what you know. That's it. And it takes nothing away from you. It just adds to you. I heard you on the radio talking about the resources, and I'm going to stop. But you said that you went and got everything you needed for kingdom building. That's it. And it all belongs to the church. 
It's not about John. It's not about John. But it's kingdom building. God bless you. Thank you for having us. I love you God all. You. Come on, everyone, stand to your feet. We celebrate you all so much. Thank you so much. Come on, stand to your feet. Listen, if you are available Sunday, we would love for those of you online in the building to worship with us. It's going to be one big service um, at the, we used to be known as the Pavilion, the Credit Union Auditorium. It's at 10 a.m. Hear me loud and clear. You have to be on time. I can't stress that enough. And service starts exactly at 10 a.m. Parking is all taken care of. They have several parking lots. It's going to be full, but don't complain. Amen? Amen. When you leave out of here, do me a favor. Take your time coming out of the parking lots. Don't get frustrated. Don't get mad. Don't shoot nobody the bird and don't cuss. You hear me? Let's pray as we prepare to leave. Can everybody just stand still for one minute and I'll let you leave? Come on. It's, it's 928. I told you you'll be out before 930. So, God, we thank you, we honor you, we thank you, God, for tonight. Just a night to lift you, to honor you, but also to celebrate this city. We pray for our city. We ask that the blood cover our city. We act come against every spirit of violence and every negative report. But we decree and we declare that revival is coming to Chicago. Yeah. We pray for every church, every ministry, every pastor, every singer, every musician that is in the body of Christ. We pray, God, that they give, make room for them. We pray a special oil be on our city and let it be for your glory and for the upbuilding of your kingdom. And we ask all that is. God, direct everyone as they go home. No accidents, no hurt, no harm, no danger. Not just when we get home, we decree it won't even happen no time this year. It's going to be a safe year for me and my house. Now cover us with your blood. Send your angels before us. And we ask all of this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. Consider yourself dismissed. In the lobby area, stop and get <clears throat> the snack. A treat. Don't expect to be full. <laughs>